Pogacic he stepped up in the last round. The last round counts for so much. Plioncic knows this and he stepped up to the mark. Now Will Skobowski raises pace. I suspect he doesn't have too much work to do because the score from the knockdown will probably have done enough now at this stage. But you cannot rest on your laurels, not in an MT bout. And the ties right behind Plioncic. Shouting every time a strike comes from the tie fighter. Skabowski looks a little bit tired to me. Threw an awful lot of leather. Connected there with the left. So just under two minutes to go. This has been action all the way. It really has been top class. Skabowski threw an awful lot of leather that, that connected so well. Tie fighter scoring away with the kicks downstairs, but not enough to cause any problems for Skabowski. Great recovery from the tie. Looks strong. Looks fresh. But Skabowski, steady worker, goes about this job of work at his pace. And when he digs, look at that, he really rocks the head of the tie. Even from a relatively short punch. There the kick, taking the tie right off balance. Left-right combination, banged right home. Well, we've got half a minute of this fight to go now. This is the first quarter final. From this, the S1 at the Rajamanan Stadium in Bangkok. And it's Jean Charles Skabowski of France who really has romped home to victory. Seemingly effortless. And he took the fight out of the tie with that short left hook. But down the tie, and that's it, it's all over. And respectful bows, but Plioncic knows he's not done enough. Great tactical fight from Skabowski, took the fight to the tie all the way. There wasn't a second when Skabowski wasn't throwing leather. And the decision, a formality. Well, quarterfinal number two here at the Rajamanan Stadium, the S1. This is a fighter all MT fans want to see. John Wayne Parr of Australia performing the John Wayne Y Crew. This is his speciality. The Y Crew, of course, is a dance to honor instructors from the past and of the present, but also to psych out your opponent. So a little bit of uh, Australasian Antipodean activity going on there. Jean Wayne Parr doing his own Y crew. Jean Wayne Parr, 27 years old, 177 centimeters, 48 fights, 14 wins. And just to let you know that uh, Jean Wayne Parr, a seasoned Super League fighter, He's going to be coming live to you on British Eurosport here on Fight Club when we broadcast the next Super League event from Germany on Saturday, October the 23rd. Jean Wayne Parr, Mohamed Magomedov, Uzbekistan, the blue fighter on the left hand side of our screens. All the fighters in this tournament, as I've mentioned earlier, will fight with yellow trunks. But uh, we will denote them by the colour of the waistband and the colour of the stripe on the shorts. So, Mohamed Magomedov, Uzbekistan. We've seen Magomedov fight before, in fact. Uh, 20 years old, 186 centimetres, has the height and the reach advantage. A 10 centimetre almost reach advantage and height advantage over Wayne Park. 21 fights, 4 wins. 
Well, he's so revered, John Wayne Parr, amongst MT fighters all over the world, not only in Australia, not only here in the UK, but also in Thailand. And you can see the full Thai rules, the elbow is allowed, and the elbow coming down on the top of John Wayne Parr's head. And there you see the elbow being used to very good effect. He's being warned by the ref, but uh, it is allowed. And a little bit of confusion there from Magomedov. Oh, great right from John Wayne Parr, straight through the guard. Oh, answered with another right from Magomedov. Well, this is really an empty extravaganza for Muay Thai fans. I hope you're enjoying this. Nice inside kick from Magomedov, had the reach, connected downstairs with the calf muscle of Jean Wayne Park. Jean Wayne Park holds the left leg out and covers up very well. Great, great Muay Thai stance. Magomedov more off orthodox. A deeper boxing stance. A smidgen of blood on the cheek of Magomedov. From where I am, I can't see whether it's Magomedov's or John Wayne Parr's. But we've less than a minute to go in this second quarter final. Oh, and John Wayne Parr put together a great combination there. In fact, the blood is from the top of John Wayne Parr's head. And that is from an injury, I would suspect, from the downward elbow strikes we saw from Magomedov earlier in the round when John Wayne Parr was against the ropes. And um, this is what MT fighters have been saying all along. I'll be their spokesperson and say it now. That full rules, Muay Thai is the toughest, toughest ring sport there is. And this is the best example of it because you can see the damage that elbow strikes can do. Jean Wayne Parr touches the glove of Magomedov, but he's not happy because uh, the, well, overzealous use of the elbow strike. Look at those. I mean, full forearm smashes going in and down comes the elbow there. The referee trying to intervene but it is allowed the only fouls according to the rules of s1 are biting a stab to the eyes spitting at your opponent sticking out your tongue and to strike with the head there's an interesting uh, rule here as well using unsuitable words during the fight so, short break here between the first and the second. Back to the action. Jean Wayne Parr of Australia versus Mohamed Magomedov. This, the S1 from Rajamanan Stadium in Bangkok, Thailand. Eight fighters. There's two ties on this card. We've seen one. Surya saw Pleonchit. He went out to Jean Charles Skabowski. But there are fighters from Europe. Ole Lawson to come up. Petr Polak of the Czech Republic. And Magnum Sakai of Japan, as well as Jean Wayne Parr of Australia, in action here with the red flash on the shorts. And he's really getting to work on Mohamed Magomedov. And I have to say, I think for fight sports in general, I'm not overjoyed to see the excessive use of uh, violence within a match. But lots of people complain that uh, full Muay Thai rules are difficult 